here at Museum of Graffiti at the end of an amazing Art Basel week. We're here with the one and only Vic Garcia. I appreciate you for having me, Greg. We're here. We're here at the Nucleus Hub. And uh, talk a little bit about your, 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 your path, your career, uh, artist, entrepreneur, creator. Um, let's, let's take it back to uh, when was the first time that you put pen to paper, you created something, and you thought, hmm, this may be, this may be the future? So yeah, um, I actually started pretty late into my life. Um, I, I picked up the pen and paper probably my junior year of college. And then I didn't think consider anything of it. I didn't think it would lead to a career and a passion and what I love. And just these little drawings took over my wall with not the right supplies, not the right markers. I actually graduated. I started working in business. And then I explored a little more. And at some point, I decided to take it on full time. And it's been a dream ever since. And every day is a is a new part of the journey and the support's been real for sure. And uh, you know, I always say that if you, ma if you marry a passion with a profession, you never work a day in your life. And uh, talk a little bit about the characters that you've created uh, in your work um, and, and what inspires you um, in creating those, those characters. Yeah, so I definitely, I'm doing what I love, which is a, the greatest blessing ever. And to be able to see people support your dream and to to see people fall in love with your creations and to make them feel a certain sense of happiness and joy and it's a beautiful thing. It's, I'm truly blessed. Um, all these characters that I've created all tell a story. They're helping me tell my message and put my world out there and my work. And I'm constantly creating new characters and I'm adding them into the mix from my canvas to my clothing brand to uh, some sculptures, eventually vinyl toys. and. The world is endless. It's just doing the right thing at the right time with the right people. So, uh, talk a little bit about you know your work and is around positivity and inspiration. Um, why? What about a, about your art form um, inspires that in you? Yeah. So I'm. De I, I definitely am a positive person. Um, I think um, if it just gives me another voice, it helps me tell my story and put something out there that I think the world needs. I always tell people if they could look at my work and it can make them disconnect from the crazy world we live in and connect with what I'm doing and what, what the world I've created and I can make you feel happy and make you smile, I did my job. So I'm constantly trying to bring in new people that want to take on that same love and passion that I have for it. And I'm not in this alone. It takes people's love and support and I always say we. And, it's definitely not I. Um, what was the very first character that you created? Do you remember? And tell us a little bit about. So yeah, all the characters came about at different times for sure. Um, I just started dissecting them from the original works on papers that I was creating. And actually, uh, Flower knows one of my fr one of my buddies looked at the paper and they're like, I think there's like something interesting here. There's like a globe. He's got a nose that's a flower. He's smiling. But the original flower nose was actually white. The, the water was white and the islands were like multicolor. And he actually brought up a good point. He's like, why is it white? Like, is there some sort of global warming happening? Like, what's going on here? Um, so at that point, I decided, look, I have to make it like the globe and help tell the story through that. So that's just one character. And then other characters have evolved ever since that. I've been able to make a Miss Flower Nose to pair them up, so yeah. it's been fun. And uh, and as you go through your work, I mean, you, you obviously see the characters come up um, both in your you know works over time and the evolution as well as your, your clothing line. So tell us a little bit about your process in, in creation and particularly in creating your art and how has that evolved over your career? So yeah, it's definitely, it's definitely a, always a work in progress. There's still a lot more things to conquer and there's still a lot more dreams to accomplish. Um, I definitely have no, um, when I go into a canvas, there's no direction, so I don't know how it's gonna finish. Um, I definitely try to keep repeating these characters and these inspirational messages throughout all the work I do to kind of like create some sort of DNA throughout my work so people could start 
recognizing it and start getting familiar with it, but there's definitely a lot more to do. I definitely want to discover more 3D things, maybe animation one day. It's led me to a clothing brand, so it's given people the opportunity to represent me and rock with us that maybe can't afford a painting. So it's been a dream. It's just constantly trying to create and figure something out to help tell my story and message. Yeah, so uh, let's talk a little bit about the clothing line. Like, how did that come about? And what was, what was the first thing you made, do you remember? So yeah, I definitely did a couple just blank shirts, black and white on some like just blank canvas tees. And those were with characters? Or? Yeah, with characters. Uh, my friend actually was looking through my notebook and he's like, why don't you like start creating some sort of shirts like with these characters? And they're actually, the first character that I put on a shirt was weekend mode. So it was just a blank shirt that had the VGA Studios at the time with weekend mode on the back. I kept it light, 30 to 50 pieces. And then I did another one, and then from that it evolved into a long sleeve, more colors, more design. And then it's just, it's evolved. It's evolved, and from denim to jeans to hoodies to bathing suits to shorts to, to hats, and I'm constantly trying to evolve to Letterman jackets, and yeah. it's just nonstop. Yeah. And if you haven't checked out the stuff, I mean, it is absolutely amazing. The quality is incredible, but it's the messages on it, the different capsules that come out, uh, different points during the year. Definitely check that out, VGA World. Um, but it's also taken on, um, uh, you know, in professional sports, we see fashion and kind of, you know, I call it the creative direction of sport taking such a impactful role and you know everything from uh, you know fit checks walking into the stadiums for games um, your clothing um, has taken on a big part of that you know you see a lot of players uh, across all sports particularly NBA NFL MLB um, that are wearing your messages and your clothing uh, you know you know in and around the, the games and leaving the hotels and how did that come about and what does that mean to you um it's, um, it's, it's definitely a dream. I grew up a sports fan, so to, to, to now see, the, I was the kid outside getting autographs and waiting for hours, and I was a fanatic of all these sports and all these professional athletes. It's now cool to see the younger generation of these athletes supporting my dream. Um, a lot of these athletes I've actually never met, and I, it's just me connecting with one athlete leading to the other, and just different people just putting me on and helping me tell my story and my dream. The support's been incredible. Um, to see these athletes that just have the access to every brand in the world, open up these boxes and packages of my clothes and actually put it on and decide, look, this is something cool. This is something I wanna wear. Gives me chills every time. It's And, and what is it about the clothing brand and your artwork that you see people connect with the most? Is it that positive messaging? I think definitely the positive messaging. I think um, the quality has improved definitely since day one. I, we work very hard to get it right so that you're wearing something of great quality yeah. um, at a good price versus what else is out there. Yep. Um, I think it's opened the doors to a lot of amazing things. Um, the athletes are great, but everyone that wants to support my dream is just as important as these athletes. Um, the stores I deal with have been great too, because it's put me in front of new people that I maybe would have never met. Right. And it's just, it's cool. It's, 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 it's a dream to see someone walk in wearing your shirt or wearing your jacket. People that I don't even know, which is, it's a beautiful thing. Yeah. And, and, and as as uh, your you know like you said as your art continues to evolve, you've talked about vinyl, 3D animation. Talk to us a little bit about you know your vision for the future. Yeah, that's for sure. Um, I definitely have a lot of dreams. Um, I feel like I'm just getting started. I feel like there's way more people to impact in this world. The world is a big place. Yes, I do love the city of Miami, but. This, this dream is bigger than Miami. Um, I think these vinyl toys, now more than ever, are very important within the culture and within this art game that I've jumped into. I think it's giving 
it's going to give me an advantage that maybe not every um, artist has. I think it also opens up a whole new market of collectors um, by doing just these different characters. So every time I create a character, I do envision it in 3D and I could see it sitting on a shelf in someone's home. So yeah. I definitely got to explore that. And yeah. just like I could see it in a little toy, I could see it 20 foot up, up in the air. I definitely, I could see that as well. And I tell people that one of my dreams is one day to hopefully be at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade with an inflatable character as well. But what's so amazing about you is, is, is you talk about dreaming big all the time. All day. And, 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 and you live that. I mean, you live and breathe and sleep that every single day. I mean, if, if there's something you, you envision, you're gonna make it happen. Yeah, we gotta make it happen. Someone the other day told me perseverance is the key to success. So not every day is gonna be a great day. I just, I know that I just gotta keep knocking on the door and just, until they open that door but like i said there's a lot more people to touch a lot more athletes to conquer and this is just the start of vic garcia world yeah and 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 uh your messaging like like you said you know you know the world as interconnected as it is as hyper connected as it is as fast paced as it is um your your, your message of positivity is needed now more than ever you know a hundred percent yeah and another message that we haven't touched upon is to inspire the youth so any chance I get to give back to the community, to go to these schools and talk to these kids and show them like, look, you could do it. You could be an artist. There's, there's opportunity there. Like, you don't gotta work in an office from nine to five. You don't gotta be a firefighter. You don't gotta be a police. Like, I didn't start till I was in my late twenties and look what I've been able to accomplish. Look what, what I've been able to do. So you could definitely do it. So. All those things are very, very important to me. Any charity I get to give back is also very important and I'm constantly trying to inspire the next generation, for sure. You're, you're, you know, you're a pillar in this community in Miami. I mean, you know, you're, you're from here, but at the same time, like it's, I, I see it. It's so important to you and you really do always reach out and give back. Let's talk about a recent project you did, My Cause, My Cleats. Um, you know, across the NFL, they allow different, uh, uh, athletes to wear cleats one day that are custom designed to a charity or cause that's important to them and you recently hooked up with uh, puppies and golf do you want to talk a little bit about yeah that? so I was given the actually my buddy Greg here gave me put me in connection with puppies and golf um, to design some cleats for um, Sam Martin of the Buffalo Bills um, and we were able to he, I think he's actually wearing them at some point right now or in tonight's game but uh it was cool it was to create awareness for puppies in golf and um, in the Buffalo community um, of to adopt a dog. There's a lot of, my mom would be proud because she's always constantly in that world. So I think it's, I think it's important if you're gonna go out to get a dog to adopt because there's so many animals thrown at these shelters that, sure. that need that love and care. So that's just another way to give back to the community as well and, and you know i read somewhere once in, you did an interview that you know uh you know drawing for you is a way to express uh, messages and ideas right and communicate and i feel like a lot of art and your art in particular is also about spreading communication spreading messaging and creating awareness right and um, you're also an amazing storyteller through your art uh, so, you know, I've seen a number of, of custom pieces that you've done for individuals, um, you know, really about telling their story. Um, can you talk a little bit about that, that component, storytelling through your art? Yeah, so I definitely, I'm telling a story every single day of my life and everything I do is helping me tell my story with the people I'm touching, with the people I'm creating art for the people that are now supporting these paintings and hanging them in their homes or wearing my clothes or just giving me a simple like or a follow. These are all people and vehicles of trying to help tell my story. Um, storytelling is very important. I think these custom paintings that I do based on people's life really make an impact on them and really move them in ways that is special. Like I've um, the way I've been able to connect with people and sh just put everything in one little space on a canvas is magical. They're like, wow, how do you like, 
know all this and like I do my research and also I know that from there it's going to go on to a wall and they're going to be able to live with it and enjoy it and see it every day and connect with maybe things, maybe people that have passed away in the past yeah. that life goes on and things get, you know, life, you start forgetting about things but now looking at these paintings you're like, wow, oh I miss my, you know, my uncle or my aunt or my grandfather so. I try to get pers very personal with these paintings, for sure. Uh, artistically, who inspires you? Yeah, so I'm definitely inspired. I think you can find a form of inspiration from everybody, from the way people dress, to the way people act, to the way people are, tr what story is someone else trying to tell? And then from an artist aspect, I'm definitely inspired by Cause, Keith Haring, Hebrew Brantley out of Chicago, some local talent within the community from Jonas Sirwinski to Joe Martinez to Entes, um, Alan and Allison from the Museum of Graffiti are definitely inspirational. We're like sitting in the middle of this history like and now they've created this 50 years of hip hop that so I'm constantly learning. I always say I'm a student to the game and there's a lot of knowledge to gain and there's there's a lot of great teachers out there for sure. What is Vic Garcia like doing in his, in his spare time when he's not in the studio and he's not creating? Although I know the way your mind works, you're always creating. I try to stay locked in at all times. Um, I think, yeah, all this work is fun and all, but I'm very close to my family. I'm an uncle of 10. I have two beautiful sisters. I have two beautiful parents that they all love me. They all support me. My friends are everything to me. So all that stuff is important. I'm constantly molding relationships. Me and you have created a nice relationship. We do things, obviously, sporting events. Yeah. I just try to get out there and support people that support me, so yeah. that's what we do. Few people better than you in terms of showing up, uh, showing up for people, being there to support. Um, and you know, I think people give it right back, right? Because that's the, the love that you put out there in the world. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to put out with the world and with my art, so I have to show up and show love because it's important. And I always say, together we make this world a better place so and we could all help each other there's I think there's room for everybody and I think we just got to keep knocking on the door and keep keep grinding and putting putting on for this city what we call Miami and what we call home so you, you you've lived in Miami you know your your life and how have you seen Miami you know change over 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 your lifetime and look I think it's constantly growing I think there's still a lot more to do in this city there's a lot more people to touch I definitely, this area of Wynwood, at some point, like you couldn't even drive through here. So to see it now like evolve into this community of artists and people of all kind and just a whole week of our week and our battles of people all over the world coming here shows something. Yeah. The water, the culture, the different people of everywhere, um, the colors, the the women, everything. Like, it's it's a beautiful city. I'm blessed to call it home, and I want to see it continue to grow, and I want to be a part of it for sure. Um, was, there, was there a moment that you remember, maybe like when you, first, you, know, you sold your first piece of art, um, that, that you really, a, a, a switch flipped for you and said, wow, this this may be my, my, my calling. Yeah, so definitely. Uh, so the for one of the first custom pieces was for baseball player Manny Machado. Um, so we designed that um, based on him. I went through a list of a bunch of different things and we created, it was actually a work on paper. And at that point we framed it, we hung it in the entrance of his home and I was like, wow, so I could actually like do these drawings and hang them in people's homes and people could appreciate them. and. I think there could be something here and um, I always say I'm honored and grateful for his day one love and just being there and just one painting has led to two and now I'm in the, these galleries and with a lot of supporters and a lot of people that just want to keep supporting the dream. Just a, just a couple days ago I had the honor to have Mookie Betts in my studio and yeah. it's just, it's just, it's magical to see different people join your journey and join your dream so well when, when, when you're as inspirational as you are and the message is 
is something that's so easy to rally around, you know, positivity, love, inspiration, you know. Um, I, I think I think you have this amazing way of creating community, right? Like everybody that supports in a, in a different way, whether they stop by the studio, whether they get a piece of artwork, or they wearing wearing a hoodie, um, you know, they're they're buying into that. They're part of that community, and and you have an amazing way of, of, of creating community around your work. I think community is the most important thing here. I think I'm constantly creating a community. I'm constantly creating a family of people. I'm constantly trying to touch new people with it. I think one person leads to another person. So by having different avenues of people helping me tell my story, it's just going to help this dream and journey grow and put me in front of new people. So. I appreciate every single one of you that have supported this dream, that has given me a like, that has bought a piece of art, piece of clothes, that has showed up at an event. I know I have a lot of different events, but people keep, keep on continuing to show up and show love, and I'm grateful for each and every one of you, for sure. Now, for the, I've had the pleasure of being in your studio, but for those who haven't, what describe that feeling if somebody stepped into into your studio and your world. What, what is that like? Yeah, I think they're stepping into a happy place. Um, it's a place of positivity. I want you to walk out of there smiling and feeling a sense of joy and happiness. And if you're going, everybody's going through shit. So if I'm able to help you disconnect from that crazy shit you're going through or that tragedy, and I'm just made you feel a certain way and I've made you feel happy. I did my job, so that's what I was put on this world to do and I hope to touch more people with it and it's a happy place. It's it's positivity at at its finest for sure. And it's so true, like I uh, you know, I'm I'm a huge fan of your clothing line, your art, but I, I, I wear it, you know, a lot of times around and Every time that somebody looks at the back of my shirt when I'm wearing one of your, you know, and, and sees that positive messaging, I know it gives them, you know, in, in their brain a sense of, of, of happiness, a sense of reframing. Maybe they, they just something something bad happened. They came out of a bad meeting or whatever. So it's this amazing uh, way to kind of penetrate your message throughout the world. It's important. You're a vehicle for, for my message in my world, and I'm grateful for people like you and. The world needs it, like I mentioned before, so yeah. I'm gonna keep putting out products that are gonna help make this world a better place, and like I mentioned before, this is just the beginning of a hopefully worldwide takeover. So we're gonna wrap up here with a couple of quick hitters to end it up. Let's right? go. Um, so what was favorite piece that you've ever done, favorite project you were ever on? I think every piece is, uh, is a part of my story and a part of my message, but uh, any chance I get to give back to the community and go back to these schools that for these kids to look at is a dream. So going back to some of my childhood schools, because I did go to a few schools, have been dreams. And then to paint murals at the Inner Miami Stadium and to collab with brands like that is, is a dream as well, yeah. Amazing. Uh, your dream collaboration? Oh, uh, my dream collaboration would probably be some sort of shoe deal would definitely be on the radar. Um, some sort of, just like some of these franchises are now doing these like jerseys and court collaborations. Yep. It's a dream to be at the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade, it's a dream. So as you can see, I'm dreaming big at all times. Yeah. And, and like I said, if you dream it, it is possible because we know that. We've it's going it to happen, already. yeah. And uh, Vic, thanks so much for joining us All today. day, I appreciate you, and thank you to Nucleus for having us, the Museum of Graffiti, and enjoy the rest of the weekend, and it's coming to an end. Keep spreading the positivity and the love. Right? I appreciate it, man. Thank all you, right. thank Take you. Care. Likewise, family.